Hello, we're fixing everything. And I'm very happy to tell you that I managed to succeed in the 21 days without eating sugar, which is brilliant. I feel great. I want to tell you how I feel, what I noticed, and a few a few things I uh, watched on YouTube that I think are very good for your body when you uh, succeed in the first three weeks. Now, main thing is that my cravings for sugar are almost gone, but not for bread. I do the same challenge with the no bread and with all the other stuff that are made for bread. And um, sugar is not that hard for me. I managed to convince my family that I really don't eat sugar, so they stopped on the second week. They stopped uh, trying me to feed me sugar because they were bringing me candies, stuff like that. You know, not on purpose, but because that's how we live. You know, if someone have a birthday, they want to give you some chocolate. So, uh, my family is now convinced that I uh, don't eat sugar. My grandmother, not that much. But still. There is no sweet stuff at home and I'm not, not buying it. And uh, that's, that's also making the things easier. So, for the first three weeks, you're gonna manage to convince your family that they, they will actually convince themselves when they see that you don't eat it, that you don't actually eat it. Like, uh, like you're diabetic, actually. That's, that's how it looks like. Um, I don't know for your colleagues because I don't have I don't go to work. I only work YouTube. So you're you're my colleagues. Um, there were some people comment on my previous video that they managed to do one year, not on diet. Yeah, I'm not on diet as well. Not on diet, and it's absolutely possible. Which I know, I know. I didn't eat the last time I did it. I didn't eat for three months, so I think I'll do better this time. Wait, uh, wait. I have lost one kilo for the last week. So, not being on diet and eating as much as I can. I'll tell you, I eat a lot. I lost one kilo the week before. I lost one kilo as well. So I think. With that much eating, without any sugar and bread, I'm losing one kilo a week. From last week, it's my seventh day today. I uh, don't drink any alcohol, so I think I'll start losing a little bit more. Not that I was drinking that much alcohol before, but uh, like 50 to 100 milliliters of hard alcohol or two beers, it's, it's not nothing, yeah. So, power, physical strength in your body. My kid weighs around uh, 20 kilograms, which I think is like seven stone. And I was having a hard time when I'm on the bed, lifting him up like a crane. And now, three weeks later, I haven't done any exercise yet. No exercise, so I haven't put any muscle. I lift him up a lot more easier, which tells you that my strength is higher from not eating red sugar and not drinking alcohol. So that's absolutely positive. Another positive, my budget, I told that in the last video, for food decreased dramatically. And when I tell you dramatically, I was going to the shop to buy something sweet to buy bread and I was buying croissants I was buying waffles I was buying uh, candies and stuff like that chocolate chocolate is expensive <laughs> I was buying it and if you say we I used a thousand units whatever it is pounds dollars euros yeah well, if I say I use thousand now use around 700 which is I think fair decrease in budget uh, I see that as a positive 
unless you want to spend money. Something else, feeling tired in the evening and uh, feeling like a little, a, li a little bit more tired and you know full and uh, not want to move as much. In the evenings, when I was accumulating all of the sugar from the morning with the coffee, then in the lunch something, a lot of bread, and then a candy in the afternoon with the coffee. Uh, in the evening, I was feeling a little bit like I don't want to move and stuff. Now, I don't feel like that. At the moment, it's 34 degrees Celsius outside, and I don't sweat as much, yeah? Uh, before, I was sweating a lot. I sweat a lot now, but before, it was even more. And in the heat, I was feeling terrible. Now, I see my family when they eat sugar and they eat the stuff they eat, yeah? Compared to me, I feel a lot better than them. Because they tell me, oh, I don't feel good. And I'm like, oh, I feel brilliant. <laughs> so, that's another thing. What else? I don't know about the blood. Because I haven't tested my blood yet. I tested it in the beginning. But I uh, was still okay then. Uh, my sugar levels were okay on the blood tests. Now I have some inflammation in the body somewhere around the, the right leg in the in the bone structure. I don't know if it's the bone or is the urinary tract. My uh, doctor told me it's not the urinary tract. They did me some tests. So I don't know exactly what is it. Uh, I was thinking it's gonna be gone when I stop eating sugar and bread, but it's still there, so I haven't done anything about it. We'll see how it's going to go. So, challenge is going okay. Three weeks are done. I'll see you on the month. Bye-bye.